Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up with the pom-poms My name is Shantae and here I have my youngest daughter Callista aka my boo and we are doing some curls and beads in this tutorial So these are three looks that she wrought for the school week We're going to show you how we achieve them the products that we use as well as the longevity of each of these styles Let's get into it Now, of course, before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you and to all of my returning subscribers. Hey, mama. Hey, friend. Hey, bestie. Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So here we have baby girl boo freshly washed and I'm going in with the pretty strands leave-in conditioner I speak highly of this leave-in conditioner every time I use it it's a very lightweight which is what I love the most about it, it comes in a huge bottle and I love the mist so I am starting out with a half part going from ear to ear across the crown and I'm going in with my favorite gel of all time, the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel and I'm using this to clean up my part. I love clean and precise parts and this gel helps me achieve that look. So I'm just cleaning that up and then we're going to go into making a small triangle in the front of her head. And this small triangle is just going to be like a cute little accent and I'm going to ponytail this off and then add some beads to it to create like this beaded crown this was not the look i intended it to look like but it looks super cute on boo so i just went with it so my boo has fine curls so she has like these three a like 2c curls and when it comes to her fine curls i take a lot more precaution because i don't want to cause any extra breakage so when it comes to her products and her accessories i make sure that i am not adding anything that is too tight for her anything that is going to make her hair break off any faster i just i look at her hair to be the most fragile out of my girls i'm pretty sure it's not but in my head i feel with fine hair i should just take a little bit more heed and warning when it comes to a style that she feels is uncomfortable so I only use elastic bands instead of rubber bands and I definitely don't do any products that'll add a lot of weight to her hair so I wanted to add in these beads like I mentioned before and I'm just connecting them to the ponytails in the back very easy the style took me probably 15 minutes to style and it lasted her at least three days and that's only because she had those curls out in the back i decided not to ponytail those off if i did this style probably would have lasted a lot longer but i wanted her curls to be out because the sun is coming out the weather is warming up and her curls are super cute when they are styled correctly to style the back of her head, I'm going in with the Pretty Strands Butter Benefits. I love how creamy and whipped, but also lightweight that this cream is. So I'm adding this thoroughly throughout her hair from from the roots to the ends. And then I'm going in with this Boar Bristle Brush that I purchased off of Amazon, and it helps smooth that product in. Now, when I do Kehlani's curls, I kind of have to spiral her curls around my finger to get that nice spiral. With Boo's, her hair kind of naturally has this nice soft spiral to it, so I don't usually have to emphasize on that spiral. If I do, it just brings out more of her curls, but for the most part, me just simply smoothing it, the hair through and then kind of squishing the product in is what helps bring out her curls the most, and I allow it to air dry. If I want it to move a little bit faster, especially if we have somewhere to go, I'll just zap it with the blow dryer on low heat. For my hair oil in this video, I'm going in with another Pretty Strands hair product. This has been a long time hair oil product that I love. It works great on all of my girls and I just kind of use this to help seal in the moisture on Boo's curls. After three days of wearing this style, it is time for a restyle. This is probably a Wednesday or Thursday during the school week. And I'm just removing her beads and I am brushing out her hair. It is extremely tangled because we allowed her hair to be out for a couple of days. And that's just one of the consequences of allowing my girls to have a style where their hair is just loose and about. But it allows them to kind of take a break from all the tension with ponytails. And they also adore their curls. So I'll 
I want them to, you know, enjoy wearing their curls out. So with that being said, we're going to move into straight, a part going straight down the middle from the, her forehead down to the nape of her neck. Now with the, this style, I decided to do like some decorative rubber band hairstyle where I kind of connect the dots with these uh, ponytails and I'm adding in some beads again, pretty much how we did with the first hairstyle. But this time I kind of met with a challenge because these ponytails had her hair a little thicker than the previous style so the beads that I used were not fitting so I had to go in with some that were a little bit bigger the beads that I use for this style are from crown couture the beads that I used in the previous style were just from my local beauty supply store I also like that they had this cute like twisty effect on them I did not go in with any additional products other than water and gel and the gel was just to help with my parting and to lay her edges. This style took me 20 minutes to do for her and it will last three days until her next wash day and that is usually on a Saturday or Sunday where she gets rewashed every week and then restyled for the new school week. So we are now on a new school week. This is Sunday night and I decided to do a, another beaded style but I want to do some crisscross in the front. So we're starting out with a ear to ear part going across the crown and I'm section off a small square and this is where I'm going to do a corn roll I don't tend to do a whole lot of like braids like corn rolls on Callista only because her hair is fine and it can be a little challenging for me to grip but I didn't have a hard time with this one maybe because I did it in a small little braid once I get towards the end of the braid I just do a two strand twist and this just helps when it comes to takedown doing a three stranded braid on that small piece of hair can be a challenge to remove now we're going in with two Two small squares and I'm going in with my elastic rubber bands and again I only use elastic rubber bands on Callista's hair and we're just sectioning off these two small squares and we're gonna repeat this again and create another two small squares and then just create a, a X by doing some connected dots crisscrossing these small ponytails together with the same color pastel elastic rubber bands this is a very simple style it can take a little bit longer so I don't recommend this as a quick hairstyle but it is super easy to achieve it took me 40 minutes to do this only because I had to keep taking out the bands because I don't like them when they're really tight. And if I do them real tight, I take them out and redo it. Working on the back of the head, I am misting her hair with some uh, water and then I'm going in with some Camille Rose Marshmallow Gel. I love this gel on myself and I've been kind of selfish because I don't be wanting to use it on the girls and it can be a little bit on the pricey side, but I decided to use just a couple of pumps on Callista's curls. She didn't need a whole lot of product. I'm raking it through and then I'm going to smooth it through with my bristle brush to create her curls again, just like we did in the first first hairstyle I did kind of spiral these because I wanted her curls to be a little bit more loose and then I noticed that this gel kind of had her hair a little bit more weighted down than I usually like so I decided to clump her twist or her curls a little bit more than what I did previously just because I was afraid that the curls weren't going to come out right so I had to wait for these to fully dry before I separated them so I'm going in with some BTL scalp finishing oil to make sure that her scalp remains moisturized through this style but because this style is going to carry her throughout the entire school week I do not plan on redoing it we did two styles last week so I don't like to do a whole lot of style manipulation on the second week and that is it for our hair tutorial for this weekend thank you guys for joining us on another video we greatly appreciate having you here don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share this video to all your social media platforms to help us reach 10,000 subscribers for the year of 2022 we greatly appreciate having you guys here don't forget to check out our other videos for the girls be blessed and be safe